Just 11 days now until Christmas, but so far, no must-have it toy has emerged like Tickle Me Elmo, and it's the first time in years that that's happened. So we thought, instead of an it toy, why not a purchase made right here at home? World News viewers came to the rescue. Here's ABC's anchor, David Muir. What would you like me to bring you for Christmas? It was the question that started us all, hunt for the one holiday gift made in America, the one toy. Remember little Ellis Ushery and her list for Santa, telling us she wants another American Girl doll. Where is it made? China. Now, the kids have written those lists to Santa. Yeah. Right. But how much of that list is even anything you can find in America? The parents stumped. My name is then this viewer, like so many, with a bold I'm declaration. Here that all of my Christmas gifts are going to be made in the USA. Emily, who reminded us all of a song from our childhood. It's Linky, it's Linky, but fun is the best of the toys. It's Went online and got all my nieces and nephews slinkies. And where are the slinkies made? Get this, Holidaysburg, Pennsylvania. Made in America! So Santa's elves, don't fret. World News viewers answering the call, helping Santa find, this year... American toys. So who knew that the Slinky was made right here in America? Started back in the 40s, Diane moved to Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania in 1964. So I bought a few for my nieces and nephew, and there's one for you to take home. Thank you. Merry Christmas to me. You Thank thought it wouldn't you. be so simple, right? The ideas keep coming in, by the way. That's right. So please send yours to our constantly growing list, abcnews.com slash worldnews. Who walks the stair without a care and makes the happiest sound? Hey, who doesn't remember that old commercial? And of course, the song. Best present yet to give or get. And the everlasting popularity of the Slinky continues with a Michigan connection. Most people don't even know that there is a toy company headquartered in the middle of all these automotive suppliers in this in this market that manufactures and sells products around the world. We're talking slinkies, poof balls, science kits, old-fashioned classics, and a slew of other games and gadgets we all know and love. The Poof Slinky Company out of Plymouth has maintained a low profile, but has cranked out a ton of toys over the years. There's been approximately 300 million pieces sold since day one, and I would suspect that the majority of those are this, this piece here. Slinky is everywhere, and the company has rejoiced over the fact that Slinky Dog from Toy Story continues to be one of the most sought-after characters. But guess what? He's actually been around since the 60s. Betty James, the, the owner of the company at the time, gave, gave permission for Disney to redesign the dog to, for use in the, in the Toy Story movie. No one knew, no one knew with the introduction of that movie how huge that franchise would be. And here's a fun fact, every coil from every slinky dog is manufactured in America. It's a timeless toy that doesn't need all the bells and whistles to stay popular. And slinkies come in all shapes and sizes. For the super fan of the slinky, here's a real collector's item. It's one that comes in 14 karat gold, and there's also a sterling silver version. Which I would love to sell to Tiffany. It would have been better before this recent downturn, but uh, it, it is a fabulous piece. And to keep up with the times, Slinky is even changing things up a bit by changing its tune. This summer, a new rendition of that vintage song will be released. The new song will feature celebrity artists endorsing the Slinky. Every Slinky sold in the world is made in Hollidaysburg, Pennsylvania. The Slinkies uh, in Pennsylvania are manufactured on a number of machines that were uh, built by the original uh, inventor of the Slinky, Richard James. And he was a uh, civil naval engineer, and his uh, role was to design cushioning devices for destroyers primarily for the sensitive equipment on destroyers and he was working one day and knowing his son I can well imagine he had a bunch of books piled up around his desk and a coil fell off the desk and walked down the books to the floor. He was quite impressed by the movement of, uh, of the coil, took it home to his wife Betty and said Betty I think we can make a toy out of this. Gimbel's store in Philadelphia gave us the end of a calendar 
and we had 400 pieces and we sold them in 90 minutes. So we were in business. The real explosion of business came uh, when Betty made a decision in the early 60s to put it on television. Down just like a clown. Everyone knows it's I'm told that the jingle is one of the most popular advertising jingles in history. When we acquired the company in 1998 of you know, James Industries, the average seniority was 28 years. We have about 50 employees in that location. On an annual basis, they produce millions. These are uh, machines of proprietary design that we have uh, maintained and enhanced over 60 years to, uh, to ensure that a certain level of quality of slinkies are manufactured uh, around the globe. That workforce is a fine workforce that uh, focuses on quality and production and is an example of why we should continue to manufacture in this country. Thank you.